This here is an E flat soprano cornet, a, an interesting instrument found almost exclusively in the British style brass band. So it's pitched in E flat, it is a perfect fourth higher than a standard B flat cornet, which is the one that most people that are familiar with cornets at least will be uh, familiar with. And it differs in a number of key ways. The ways that you can identify a soprano cornet usually uh, because the lead pipe is uh, where the tuning happens so we have a little screw here that we can uh, tight, uh, loosen and we can move our lead pipe in and out sort of similar in manner to uh, many types of flugelhorns out there and the tubing goes through one 180 degree loop right into the third valve whereas with a B flat cornet it goes around and then it has another loop before it goes through there. So there are a couple of the design characteristics that can be used to identify an E flat soprano cornet. Now the mouthpiece is a little bit smaller, the bore is a little bit smaller, the bell is a little bit smaller and it is just generally a smaller instrument. This particular one is made by uh, Courtois in Paris, which is in France, and it is, uh, was donated to the band that I conduct. Um, and it is a very nice instrument to play. It feels nice in the hands. Everything just sort of feels nice about it. And it actually, even though I've got very large hands, it's actually a little bit more comfortable for me to hold uh, than a B-flat cornet happens to be. Now I mentioned before that this instrument is, oh, well not this instrument, but the E flat cornet specifically is almost exclusively used in brass bands and it fills uh, a very useful role in the, in, in the brass band. It is one of two of what I think of as colouring instruments. They're instruments that are not foundations, they're not absolute essentials, but they are there to add a colour, add a bit of variation, to add just a little bit of, of, of an extra dynamic uh, or an extra dimension to the music. And the other instrument that I refer to when I talk about colouring instruments is the bass trombone. Neither the soprano cornet nor the bass trombone are instruments that need to be heard or should be heard 100% of the time. They are just that little bit of seasoning uh, that goes on top of, uh, of, of a particular musical arrangement. And so the soprano cornet sort of finds itself doing sort of one of two roles. It uh, firstly doubles often the high parts of the solo cornet, so we call the primary B flat cornet part the solo cornet part. It doubles that often when uh, that part is playing high and needs a little bit of um, galvanizing, shall we say, up in those higher notes. And the second role it plays is sort of similar to what a piccolo does in, a, in an orchestra or in a woodwind uh, group, is that it adds a descant. It adds a little bit of obbligato over the top. Um, or it can play the melody up an octave. It just adds that little bit of dimension uh, to that music. So what I've got here is just a couple of examples that I was able to find that show a bit of what the soprano cornet does. I've got an example here of uh, a hymn tune where the soprano cornet just adds in the melody up an octave. And I've also got uh, a section where it's playing a march and the soprano corner is doing an obbligato. It's doing a twiddly bit that you wouldn't notice it if it wasn't there, but because they do have one, it adds that little bit of extra flavour to the music. So I'll play them for you now. One of the misnomers and one of the sort of things that people don't usually understand is that even though the soprano cornet is physically smaller than a B-flat cornet, it doesn't necessarily make it easier to play some of those high notes. If we look at the trumpet family, we've got a standard B-flat trumpet and a piccolo trumpet, which is half the size, 
it doesn't necessarily make those high pitches any easier to uh, play and reach. It's just as difficult to play those pitches on a, on a B-flat corner as it is on one of these. But where the difference exists is that because this instrument has a higher fundamental pitch, those pitches are uh, lower down in the harmonic series. We've got more valve combinations available to us, and consequently we have the ability to play those notes more in tune because we're not having to uh, screech up so high, we've got valves that still are doing something. Uh, like for instance, if you get a standard B-flat cornet and you play anything above a high C, um, you don't need to use valves, you can just lip, the whole, lip all the other notes. Whereas if you play those same equivalent pitches on a soprano cornet, you've still got valves that function, that do something. And so therein lies its value. It also has a slightly different sound to a B-flat corner, which helps accentuate uh, the sound up high. So anyway, I shall finish uh, off this video just by playing a little bit of an extract. Um, and uh, yes, thank you very much for watching.